Uh, let me ask you a question. Which looks better? Boom, boom. Right here, right here. Well, if you answer this one, I'm sorry. You're just a jaded adult who has no fun left in their life. I'm sorry. I feel the exact same way sometimes. But the, clearly the answer is this one. It's vibrant. It's colorful. It makes you feel full of life and fun and all that jazz. This one makes me think about doing my taxes and raising a farm. Today's topic, of course, you know exactly what it's going to be because it's in the title. Logos. Why? Why, corporations, are you doing this? <laughs> Why are you making your shitty, boring corporation even more shitty and boring? Or in case of uh, fun companies, why are you making your fun company to be fucking corporate? <laughs> when we think of corporations and corporate itself, we think of mindless drone zombies thinking how to squeeze every dime out of a poor person's wallet. And that's exactly what these logos remind me of. These logos aren't appealing to the to the common people who want to be entertained. They're appealing to some fucking mindless corporate crony. Some robotic alien hominid that has no idea what people actually look for in their products. Okay, where did this rant all start? So today, I wake up and I see this from Bandai Namco. Whoop! I'm gonna pull up that tree right here. Our current logo expresses the fusion of Bandai and Namco. Those created when the two companies... Oh, I'm already fucking falling asleep. It will be replaced with a new logo that reflects our new purpose. Bam. What the fuck? <laughs> Your new purpose, huh? Is it a fucking, is it a tweet? What is this bullshit? All companies with Bandai Namco will use this new logo and in principles companies with and without Bandai Namco. Oh, Jesus. This will enable us to bring together the value of all our product services and labels under one logo. Uh, was it not before? Here's your fun logo. Bam. Bandai Namco. I'm like, okay, I immediately think fun or t t hitting my head against the wall until that boss is down. <laughs> what is this? Bam. It's just like, is that, I, I, I think of your Twitter handle. There's nothing. It's just, it's just a blurb that says Bandai Namco in boring font. Fun for all into the future. That is the most corporate shit. Fun for all into the future. Like this was fun right here. This one, <laughs> not so much. According to my research, they said they do this for technological appeal, increasing needs for online presence. They need to simplify their logos. <laughs> they want to make it easier to read on devices like phones. Do you think I'm a slobbering idiot? I would recognize the colors from your ban old Bandai Namco logo more than I would this fucking blurb. Market demand. Simpler, flat designs means it's easier to understand and recognize to a broader audience. Yeah, sure, because all of your consumers are fucking dribbling idiots. Many of the flat designs are inoffensive. Inoffensive? What was offensive about this logo? It's just colors. If you're getting offended by colors... Hold on. <laughs> oh, hold on. That wasn't Freya Square. <laughs> Yeah, now that I think about it, yeah, a lot of people get offended by colors. Okay, checks out. <laughs> okay, what's my bottom line? New logos, they look like crap to the common man. But they're trying to perpetuate that the common man is the one who needs these changes. Do we? Do we really? Look at this one. The, the tweet from the real Luigi. They killed him. They killed the fucking fox. Bam. Original design. Perfect. It's a fox embracing the world. That's the fox saying, you have the whole world in your hands. Now look at this logo. Pfft. Just what is that? I would think that if you gave that to me with no context, I would say that's Opera's browser because it's an O. This one for Internet Explorer makes sense. Bam. Internet Explorer. Everybody's most hated icon. So like, maybe if we make it just blue, uh, people won't uh, remember it's Internet Explorer. Then they change it to Edge. Ooh, edgy. And then they change it to this, which is just... They're like, maybe if we don't associate anything with Internet Explorer anymore, people will forget. Yeah, no, we remember. Pepperidge Farm remembers. So that one's fine. Because <laughs> they, they're actively trying to make you forget about their earlier logos. So that way they use your new, their new service. This one, look at this one for Yahoo. This one, fucking... Yahoo! See, it's like jumping. It's like a Mario thing. And then they're like, Yahoo. This is like something that fucking the head office would send you. Yeah, you get to stay one hour later, but we're going to have a pizza party on Friday. Yahoo! It's just bland, unoriginal, uninspired. It sucks. I've had this channel logo for like 10 years now. Or, you know, whenever I made this channel. I can't remember. It was like 10 years ago. <laughs> I liked it because it was the data and there was the dream. There's the fucking the data font. 
that makes it look all pixely, and then the dream font. All right, if I was a corporation, what would I do? You would figure just the data D and then the dream D, right? No. We gotta think like an unfeeling corporation, all right? Let's see what we can make out of this. Bam! I know what you're thinking, it's perfect. It's inoffensive, it's flat, it's non-violent, it's all-inclusive. It's perfect. This is our new corporate logo here at fucking Data Dream. <laughs> I, I wish this was... Like, this parody, it's, it's like, it's exactly what is happening. So it's hard to parody it when it's the real fucking world. Some logos could use some simplification, sure. But oversimplification, it just seems like a step way too far. And it's unnecessary, it's unneeded. And they're doing it for reasons that are just fucking shallow. None of this simplification is going to help anybody in any particular way. And their resources should be better spent on the employees, the working conditions, wages, all that kind of stuff. Because I'm sure at every single one of these logos, they took thousands and thousands of dollars at least per logo to redesign it. And all of that wealth could have been distributed for a much better cause. I guess at the end of the day, what I'm trying to say is invest in your employees, not your logos. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to go buy Miss Depsy some Chick-fil-A. I'll see you later.